Good morning, Somerville. I'm Joel Bryant. And I'm Kristen Blitty. Today is Friday, August 26th, and Way TV starts now. A lot has changed over the summer. You may have noticed a herd of students going down to the ROTC building, but not for ROTC. Destiny Galbraith tells us more. Last year, Somerville's flood inconvenienced Givens Alternative Program students and relocated them to the trailers behind the ROTC building. The start of the new school year brings about the question of why Somerville High now uses their trailers as extra classrooms. I agreed to move out here because it's a little bit quieter. They seem to like it okay. Uh, they like the classroom. They're not all crazy about the walk. A lot of them get out here, they're pretty thirsty, but I think once the humidity, humidity and the heat die down and it's fall, I think they'll enjoy the fresh air. To my understanding, everybody went back to Gap, and when they went back to Gap, they may have not needed the trailer, so our superintendent, Joe Pye, decided to rent them out for our school so we would have a little bit of extra space. We asked students how the trailer usage and the walk affected them. I had to end up changing my schedule because of it, but just because I couldn't deal with the rocks in my foot and, you know, stabbing my foot and stuff like that, and I couldn't deal with that long walk, and my teacher would kind of get mad for me being late, stuff like that, so I had to end up changing mine. There's a lot more room now in other classes, like they're not as crammed. The walk is a very long trek. It's about eight minutes long even speed walking. It's not just because of the walk, it's just that, you know, the energy that it takes and then you're just sweaty and you smell like sweat for the rest of the day and nobody wants to smell that. For Wave TV, I'm Destiny Galbra. Thanks Destiny and good luck to everyone who has to walk that path. Senior dues are to be paid to Mrs. Miller in room 133 before September 12th. Dues are required to attend the senior breakfast. There are plenty of fresh new faces around the school and it's not just the students. Wave TV will be introducing two of Somerville's first year teachers every week. Here's Kristen with this year's first new teachers. Every year, Somerville High School hires a group of new teachers over the summer. This year we'll be introducing two each week. This year's first will be Mrs. Peacock and Mrs. Johnson. Wave TV asked them a few questions to try and get to know them better. I come from a small school. Um, I taught there for four years and I was ready for a change. I thought I would jump into what I think of as more of a traditional high school, lots of students, lots of school spirit. My family's here. I didn't really have any desire to go elsewhere. Before I taught here, I taught at Woodland High School in Dorchester 4. So um, I enjoyed it out there, but um, after six years, the drive got kind of monotonous, and so I decided that I really wanted to be back here. It was kind of always my goal to be back here. This will be my first year teaching earth science, but I have taught almost every other science that is offered. I've taught physical science, chemistry, biology, and I've taught intro to engineering and principles of engineering. So earth science is a new one for me. I taught English two at Woodland. I taught English three at Woodland. I love all kinds of music. Um, I listen to a lot of instrumental music, especially when we're at school. I find that it actually helps a lot of students focus a little bit better. I listen to a little bit of everything, but I really like Ed Sheeran. I like Matt Nathanson, Jason Mraz, anything that's kind of slower and mellow. Stay tuned for next week's new teachers. For Wave TV, I'm Kristen Whitty. Thanks, Kristen. It's time to get back into the school spirit. We will be having the first pep rally of the year along with the tailgate next Friday, September 2nd, during seventh period. This will be taking place in the big gym. The tickets will be free and will be handed out throughout the day. The rules of no tickets, no entry will be very strict. So make sure you have yours there and will only be 2,000 tickets handed out. Students in a fall sport will need to get ready during ILT. Your coaches will give you more information. Teachers, if you would like to attend, please talk to your fellow teachers to account for your students who don't want to go or cannot attend. Many teachers choose not to attend and would be happy to house your overflow. Not only were classrooms and staff changed over the summer, Somerville also has new rules that they're going to enforce this year. Things like the 10 point grading scale and the newly revised dress code that they've made a couple more additions to. Here's Tessa Harvey with more information. Our district has made some minor changes to our dress code. Ms. Leviner, Ms. Bernal, tell us what those changes are. When the dress code was written to address the rolled pants, we were considering the fully rolled up pant leg. 
You may cuff your pants, but you're not allowed to roll them up to your knees. When we discuss that finger rule, when you put it up to your shoulder here, we're primarily talking about a woman's blouse. Um, tank tops still are not acceptable, um, but when somebody's wearing a blouse and it does meet that four finger rule, it's acceptable. You have to have a guideline. Um, so that it's easy when somebody's at home, how do they figure out what they can wear and what they cannot wear. Finding out if you're breaking dress code is as easy as checking the back of the handbook you got at Facts and Fees or looking at page 61 in your student handbook. You may not wear sweatbands or headbands. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Tessa Harvey. Speaking of changes, another big change that was made over the summer was the new Wave TV studio. At the end of last year, Mr. Chambers, the former Wave TV teacher, handed the torch down to Mrs. Donahue, but that definitely wasn't the only alteration made. Ellen tells us more about the new studio and all the changes you'll see this year. Wave TV is starting off the school year a little differently than in years prior, and we're here with all the information you need to know about the new Wave TV. For starters, Wave TV is in a new location. Instead of being in the back 40, Wave TV is now located in the engineering hallway in room 232. Wave TV also has a new production studio with glass walls so that people can see what we're filming as they pass by. Wave TV will also be airing only on Fridays now as a weekly show rather than a daily show every day. The reason for most of these changes is the fact that Wave TV has a new instructor, Miss Donahue. Miss Donahue worked with News 2 for six and a half years before coming to Somerville High School. Her changes will make Wave TV more accessible, viewable, and available. Those are the changes being made to Wave TV this year. Despite the changes, Wave TV will still be there, as always, to deliver all your hard-hitting news. For Wave TV, I'm Ellen Gilford. In sports news, upcoming fall sports include Boys and Girls Swim Meet at Ripley Swimming on August 27th, Boys and Girls Swimming at Wando, and Girls Golf on August 30th, Girls and Boys Cross Country at Sand Hills on August 31st, and Tennis at Ashley Ridge, and B Team and JV Football at Berkeley on September 1st. The Green Wave's fall sports are kicking back into high gear. Teams began practice in the spring and continued into the summer. From cheer to volleyball, the teams have been working hard in the school gyms to make this year a year to remember. We spoke to Somerville's cheer coach to ask how she feels about the Green Wave football team this year. I am the cheerleading coach, so I've seen them practice a few times and play, and I think they have done a phenomenal job this year, and I think we have a chance to go all the way. The football team has been practicing throughout the spring and summer and hopes to come into the season strong and win big. Good luck to all the fall sports programs and go Green Wave! And now it's time for a freshman prank. Each year, Wave TV likes to extend a warm welcome to the incoming freshmen with a freshman prank. This year, we're taking you for a walk. Where we are, we're gonna have a problem with um, like there's people over there and there's people here. So we could go back into the bookshelves and s set up again. Sorry to move you. Everybody say, going to math class. Let's get up on the street. Let people feel the beat and make their bodies move because we're gonna groove. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks for being such good sports and welcome to the Green Wave. For Wave TV, I'm Ann Bailey. Yes, summer is awesome, but starting a new school year brings amazing opportunities to share laughs, stimulate your mind, get hype, and make memories. And with those memories, you can post them on social media and use hashtag Wave TV to end up on the show. And remember guys, this is the last year for some of you, so definitely make it count. And once again, welcome, welcome back, back Green Wave. Wave. For Wave TV, I'm Kristen Whitty. And I'm Joel Bryant. Have a fabulous Friday. And a wonderful weekend.